hello everyone welcome back to my channel next tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the steps on how to restore the original color on this Game Boy 1989 model a lot of them have this yellowish uh, color that you see and we're gonna turn it back from this yellowish uh, color back to the original and I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to get it done first thing you want to deassemble the back of the system it's going to be six screws on the back this one's going to have a, you're going to need a special screwdriver to take them out and make sure you do have it before starting anything and you want to make sure you have the right tools if you need more time you can pause the video and go back to the steps and get it done slowly You can leave the system upward like this then we're going to be trying to remove the screws and basically to deassemble the front of the console where the LCD screen is. Take your time doing this and you can pause the video and make sure where are the locations of the screws that you are removing and you don't want to lose anything so make sure you keep them together. Now we're going to flip it on the other side and remove all the screws and there are probably two of them right here once you remove them and there are going to be a couple on the bottom that hold in where the headphone jack goes. So once you remove those you can take and deassemble uh, de it from the back of the console. Right here we're going to be removing the back metal plate and where the battery goes. Uh, those because we're going to have to clean them up later on. So there is as you see there is like a small piece you want to push in. Then you can slide it out and you're going to have to do it on the other two pieces as well same way. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to be using the 91% rubbing alcohol to clean the motherboard and the, uh, the battery um, pieces that on the right side. We're going to clean them with a Q-tip. You don't want to put too much, just a little where you can clean the motherboard and the speakers and everything else. Once you are done cleaning, you can put all the screws and the metal pieces right here in a Ziploc bag. You don't want to lose anything because the next process will take a couple days to complete. So make sure you put everything in a safe place and the motherboard you can put it in a Ziploc just like these just to make sure everything stays in a safe spot. 
The next step right here, we're gonna be using water and dishwash and soap, and we're gonna clean all those before we move on to the next step. So you can use a toothbrush or something else that we're gonna be scrubbing and cleaning everything right here. Then we're gonna rinse them off. Then we will go on to the next step. Now everything is cleaned and rinsed, we're going to move on to the next step and I'll show you what to do here. We're going to need a bucket, you can put aluminum foil in it just like you see in here. We're going to put everything in it, the back, the front, all the buttons and we're going to be needing some screws like heavy screws to keep them down so they don't float over. you put those in the bucket we're gonna be using hydrogen peroxide now here in this video I use a 3% hydrogen peroxide and this will be a very very slow progress so I'm going to skip to the next step where I'm gonna be using a 12% hydrogen peroxide and you can get those from Home Depot or any um, tools tool place that sells them but I got it from Home Depot some other places may have it, but when you do use the 12% hydrogen peroxide, you want to make sure you use gloves. In this right here, the 3%, I did not use gloves, but if you are going to use something higher, you definitely need to use gloves. Then you can put some screws, something a little bit heavy, got some weight to keep them uh, down so they don't float while in the solution. Then put the UV LED light on top, then you can cover it for 24 to 48 hours. But I'm going to show you after 48 hours that the color did not change much as you will see right here in this clip right here. And that's when I'm going to use the 12% hydrogen peroxide. As you see right here, it actually did not clean, like did not restore the color really well. So that's what we're going to be using the 12% uh, as you see, like it's a little bit yellowish. This is how the gallon looks like. Make sure you do use it wearing gloves. This is concentrated and a lot of places use it for um, as a cleaning tool. So this is what we're going to be using instead of the 3% because that did not work well. As you see, this is after 48 hours. You see it went a lot faster than the 3% and usually the 12% uh, percent hydrogen peroxide works four times faster. Then now after we have done restoring it back to the original color, we're just gonna have to uh, rinse it off and reassemble the system back. As you see right here, after we have cleaned it, it's fully restored back to the original color and we are going to put everything back the way it was and I'm going to fast forward this process to the end of the video and if you need to pause it go ahead and pause it and we're going to test the system after we put everything back in.
this step right here we're just going to clean off the lcd before we put the new screen cover back on This is it guys. This is the end of my video for the day. I really hope that you have enjoyed this. If you found this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time in another video.